think I'm from Canada um, and I actually am not I just have lots and lots of family in Canada and any of my family from Canada is watching this I miss you guys like literally so much it kind of hurts <laughs> not being able to go and see my family um, and also like missing really important events in their lives Polyester. And I think that the polyester is probably this thing. There are shorts on the inside of it. And this feels like it's probably cotton, but it's pretty lightweight cotton. Whereas I made this. Yet, but it's made with the exact same dimensions except smaller pleats as the skirt, but I pleated it to be the same length like, not length, the same like size waist. However, because this is a little bit thicker, thickums, you see, um, even though this has the same size waistband. It's a little bit small for me when I tried it on. But yeah, look how neat this shit is. It's very satisfying to me. Yeah, I don't actually know if this fabric is good for making clothes like this, but I'm pretty much a novice, a beginner, and I feel like if this doesn't turn out too, if this doesn't turn out too poorly, um, I'll have a lot more confidence when going into making other garments and stuff. So I just need to add a couple inches to this, a couple pleats, which I'm gonna do. I feel like every time I sew something new, I find out, like, a new technique or like something that I've been doing wrong this entire time. Um, this time I realized that um, I think I have been um, often cutting fabric on the cross grain versus the straight grain. Um, which But like, I don't know, I think I just don't um, end up having fabric that's like long enough because I buy cheap fabric sometimes, or most of the time. It's just kind of um, impossible to like cut out certain things like a pleated skirt without it having a seam. Uh, if on like... If 
from salvage to salvage is like 40 inches, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is going to be very cute. Even if it's not perfect. Now I know kind of more, you know? And yeah, this I got online because they had free shipping. And this I had also purchased intending to make it into a skirt. But this is only two yards and that was three yards. And I do have like a lot of this left, I guess. But like, I don't know. I had bought this intending to make it into a skirt, but mm, maybe I'll make it into a cute top or something, you know? I had ran out of um, interfacing while I was making the projects that, the project that you guys are about to see. So I got like six yards of usable. the rough side and that has like a glue like an adhesive and things with the collars and, um, and waistbands yeah, for skirts and stuff interfacing and zippers are two things that you kind of always need because like if you make a jacket there's always gonna be a waist like if you make a jacket there's always a collar and you need interfacing for like every collar um, if you make pants or a skirt it for my threads, but not so much the bobbins.
So I needed some white thread because you kind of always need white thread and I had literally done. Or behind me. Uh, green is like a very happy color, I feel like. I don't know. Comment down below um, what you think that this is before you watch it. I mean, like, I'm about to show it to you, so you will know. <laughs> but whatever. But. So far, this is, like, one of the best things I've ever made. Um, my Joseph video. Not my Joseph video. My Joseph cosplay. I also made, like, everything for. And also this cosplay. Like crazy proud of it. I'm not done. Um, by the way, it's gone from Wonder Hunter. I'm like obviously a lot older than gone. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm like obviously a lot older than gone, so I'm kind of going for like more like a teenage gone look. I know he's like, I mean, I technically he's a teenager, but like. He's baby. He's baby. <laughs> he most certainly is baby. <laughs> so, Gone Freaks is baby. No. No. Um, I will take no criticism. But yeah. I've been having a lot of fun working on this. And also, re-watching Hunter x Hunter. I had not rewatch the show in a really long time. And actually rewatching it is helping me kind of sort through those emotions and it's been making me really happy and helping me grow in a weird way. Also it's fully lined. Bruh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, there's like a butt ton of interfacing in this, you see? It doesn't flop over. Yeah, that's the interface. Yeah, I'm so proud of this. It is made pretty well. I think I cut this on the cross grain. Um, but we're just gonna live with it. I'm still super proud of it. I didn't know that I was cutting it on the cross grain, but say lovey. I have some, like, ribbons and sewing notions in this bag. It's like a canvas bag.
because I have mischievous little plans. <laughs> um, so, in this box, I keep like decal stuff or decal, depending on where you work. Bias tape. letters and stuff. And then it says small S-M-O-L bits of patterned fabric. Very, very specific. Which actually, I have things that don't actually belong in here and here. But this is the same type of piping that I used on Gon's jacket. So what I was doing like a strip like this that looks really yellow but it's orange like really orange there we go um make like a strip like this or some kind of design and then put it on a mask with like an iron on thing so this is h and it has like the karasuno stripe on it to look like hinata i'm not done with this one Hinata Shoyu, not Hinata Hyuga. <laughs> and it looks like this. There's some loose thread here. Yum. Yum. And I kind of just like want to make matching masks for my, me and my friends. Um, I think that'd be really cute. Yeah, recently. And then also like, I miss my friends so much. Um, if my friends are watching this, I miss you guys. Wow, I'm just like so sad. <laughs> That's why I haven't kind of been filming as much. Back on topic. Um, I got these so that I could do like team stripes. So like for this one, the white one, I would do like a red mask and then a white stripe stripes and that would be like Nekoma and then like for this I would do like a white stripe and a black stripe or black fabric and I'll just yellow and white and that would look like um Fukurodani you guys know I'm like a really big IQ <laughs> and also I got like a ton of these iron-ons I already had a bunch, that's how I made this kind of sample or prototype. And I got a bunch more because they're kind of fun. And I wanted to make them monogrammed with like my friend's favorite characters or like their name and send it to them. Mm. feel like overwhelmed doing other things, I'll make masks because it's kind of easy to do. I use, I'll link the fat, the pattern that I use down below, but I just use like the shape. You do one stitch here and then you make like a lining. Some people also put interfacing in this too. And then you put some elastic. I have some elastic too. Yeah, you do like right sides together. You're not that interested. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the way this one came out though, so I'm gonna make more. And also, I was at Dollar Tree the other day. And I saw these thick ribbons. Thick. They're like one and one and a half inches each. And I thought they were so cute. And they're kind of like a darker shade of green. I thought they would make really nice straps. Like, on a garment. I say garment. On like, a thing. <laughs> on like a thing. When sewing, you like, always need zippers. I'm always like, salvaging the zippers out of things that I don't like. Um, before I like, turn it into cabbage or something. Pillow stuffing. 
but I got these two black invisible zippers for the skirts. Also, usually I don't buy like tons and tons of fabric at once, or I usually don't have like tons and tons of projects to do at once, but um, like I'm at home a lot more recently, so it kind of gives me something to do, and I don't throw away any of my like excess fabric because I know that some of it um, like goes into landfills and stuff like that. So I use them all, like, I kind of save it all in this thing, and I'm gonna make a pillow out of it, like, use it as pillow stuffing. So, don't worry. This isn't, like, a sewing thing, but it's a cosplay thing <laughs> that I got, and it's so silly, but I think that it'll sound good. A spirit Halloween has opened. Very close, some would say. Peculiarly. Peculiarly? Strangely close. Um, to where, um, I used to work. So I picked this up. <laughs> this is so silly. You guys know I'm, like, not the type of person who, um, strays away from being cringy. I'm like, yeah, bring me all of the cringe. So, I got this, because originally my friends and I had planned a Naruto Shippuden photo shoot for June or July. But obviously, yeah. But I still had bought a couple things for Akiba cosplay. So, I might do a Akiba roleplay or something. This is a hidden leaf village. I'm not gonna put it on. Oh my god. By the way, everything, everything just now was in this super, super cool JoJo bag that I have. I thought I should show it off. Y'all are gonna lose your minds with this. I got this at the beginning of quarantine because I had saved up a lot of money to go to conventions. Like, I had planned on going to um, CPAC and Anime Next um, and maybe even Anime North. And so I saved up a lot of money to pay for like hotels and food, transportation, you know, whatever. And then they all got cancelled. So, um, even though part of me was like, just save that money for a rainy day, um, I saw a lot of my friends who are artists, um, they were struggling and they still are. And so, if you guys know an artist, um, Venmo them $5, $10, whatever. Or, like, buy something from their store. <laughs> but I used a lot of that money, not all of it, to get stuff from my favorite artist stores to help support them during this difficult time. Because a lot of artists will buy lots of product with the anticipation to sell it at a convention and they pay upfront for it. And then, like, during like the convention they plan on making enough money to pay back for that and make their profit right but with conventions not happening they don't make back their money um, i'm gonna put the artist up here and also the link to their profiles and store down below and it has kishibe rohan Joto looking absolutely uh, tasty, if you will. Um, <laughs> Okuyasu, Koichi, and Josuke. And Yoshikage Kira.
I really like, I know people, some people don't like the art style of uh, part four because it's really different, but I really like it. Um, y'all know my favorite, <laughs> my favorite part is obviously part two because, um, I am a Joseph bitch. <laughs> um, but my second favorite part, oh, I also really Um, so it's like part two and then everything else is my second favorite. <laughs> reflects light, well it refracts light in a really interesting way. It's really cool. That concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to. Subscribe.